If you're currently doing email marketing, then you'll probably be already aware that Microsoft's Outlook email reader is always the problem child. Your beautifully crafted email can look a little weird in Outlook. If you're new to email marketing, you should also find this video quite useful. We're going to outline the main areas that Outlook struggle with and what you can do to ensure your email renders correctly in this problematic email reader. The reason Outlook struggles to render some email designs is the framework that it uses is very old. Whilst it continued to have a facelift and updates, the engine that powered it behind the scenes really hasn't changed in the days when that little paperclip man used to appear on the side of your screen. So let's get started with our Outlook checklist. What should be avoided and how to fix the things that are fixable. In order to make your design stand out or to reflect your corporate branding, you might want to use a font that isn't Times New Roman. The ability to use different fonts in email always used to be a bit restricted. However, in recent years, major email readers such as Apple Mail, Gmail, Yahoo have increased the number of fonts that they will render. These browsers also allow you to set a fallback font. This means that if they don't support your first choice font, they will then display your fallback website font. Unfortunately, good old Outlook doesn't support this. If they don't support your first choice font, then previous versions of Outlook will also ignore your selected fallback font. Outlook will automatically display Times New Roman as the fallback font. This means that if your target audience is mainly using Outlook to read their emails, then you'll need to stick to the family of web safe fonts. These are Arial, Verdana, Georgia, and Times New Roman and Guria. The use of background images is a great way to add depth to a design. You can place text over the top of an image, and this technique has been used in web design for a long time. Over recent years, updates to all major email readers have made it possible for you to do this with your email marketing. Alas, the problem child, Outlook, still won't let you use the use of background images. If your email comes through with no background image and just a plain white background, then this is the issue. If you're using background images, then it's really important that you make sure you select a background color too. This means that Outlook will then select the color instead of showing just a plain white background. Because often, when you're putting text over the top of an image, the white text is used to make it stand out on top of that image. Remember though, the good old Outlook will put your white text over a white background. This is why you need to select a secondary color to use in case that background image is missing for Outlook. Movement in your email marketing is a great way for your design to really come to life. It can add that wow factor to bring your email to life and make it stand out. With email marketing, this animation is done by using an animated GIF file. Basically, this is a series of images that they run in a sequence to create a motion in the same way that you would draw a flick book. True to form, Outlook doesn't support this. Outlook will just show the first image in your sequence of images. So it will just show that first frame. This means that if you're preparing an image for animation, then you need to make sure that the first frame makes sense on its own. So for anyone using older versions of Outlook, that flat image will be all they see, that first frame. Make sure your email still makes sense. Nowadays, we all look at websites and emails on a variety of different devices. Anything from a 5-inch smartphone through to a 32-inch widescreen monitor. This means that when we're designing for a digital environment, we need something that we can customise our design for, for viewing on a variety of platforms. This is how media queries are used. They're basically a command that will rescale your elements of your design according to the size of the screen or the viewer. This is great. It means that we can make sure everybody receives your visual message in exactly the way that we'd like it seen. This would be everybody apart from people using Outlook though. I'm sure you can predict, yes, our friend Outlook doesn't support media queries older versions than the very latest one will just ignore media queries and will show your viewer a version of your email that maybe wasn't intended. This is a tricky one to cater for though, as media queries are a pretty powerful tool for creating fluid designs. Lots of modern designers are of the mindset that people using Outlook are quite used to everything looking a bit weird, therefore your email would just be another weird email in an inbox. But if you don't want to follow that ethos though, the alternative is to make sure that your native version of your email looks correct for the average size screen. You can do this by using fixed pixel widths instead of percentages. 
Okay, in summary, if you're designing emails, then unfortunately the perils of Microsoft's Outlook is something you'll need to be aware of. Many decent designs get turned into a jumbled mess by Outlook. If you follow our quick tips, then this will help you control the bizarre quirks of Microsoft Outlook. So, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful, and good luck designing your next email for Microsoft Outlook. Thank you.